All right, Flaunters, so in this video, we're gonna talk about what's new with version two of the Fit to Flaunt dance polls. So again, I conducted over 70 official interviews with Flaunters to figure out how your experience was with our version one poll. I'm always striving to improve the experience that Fit to Flaunt delivers to you. So we took all your constructive feedback and made a lot of iterations to bring to you this new and improved it's a font dance pose. So first we have a uh, thick rubber padding on the top and bottom bases to ensure that there's an extra level of grip on this new version two dance pole. Secondly, the feature I'm most proud of, you don't need any tools to transition from static to spin. So let me show you. Now to take your dance pole from static to spin, all you have to do is turn this sleeve on the bottom and your pole is locked, as you can see. To unlock it, turn the sleeve the opposite direction, and it's on spin. So no more tools to keep track of. Another feature we've worked hard to improve is how the poles connect. So with the version two Fit to Font Dance pole, the threads are much larger. Uh, we also put a lubrication in all of the pole pieces now, in addition to a rubber silicone ring that will go in between each extension to ensure that it's super easy for you to separate your Fit to Font Dance pole when you need to. Now, in this video, I'm going over the different finishes. So right here, we have the silicone pole. So as you can see, super grippy. I can even dance in leggings with this pole, right? Because of the silicone finishing. Now, those are the pros. Now, the cons is that the silicone does burn a little. So if I had shorts on, which I dance on this pole in shorts all the time, but if you have shorts on in the beginning, it does burn your skin a little bit. So it might be like a little bit of a shocker, but you do get used to it. Uh, another pro to this pole is that it's excellent for those of you who just want to focus on conditioning or mastering your tricks. It's like amazing. You don't have to spend 10 years of applying grip on your hands, trying to grip the pole. I mean, the grip is just phenomenal on this pole. Like I love it. Right? So now one last con, it's not easy. Uh, actually you're not able to do spins if your pole is on static. So I'll show you what I mean. So let's just say I lock my pink pole. It's locked and I want to do a fireman spin. You can see like, oh, it's impossible uh, because of the silicone finishing. If you want to do spins, you have to be on a spin pole in order to execute them. So I love my silicone pole, but when I want to be sexy and flow and do really uh, smooth transitions, this is not the pole that I would be using. I would use the powder coated. Now let's go over to the powder coated pole. All right, Flaunters, now it's time to introduce my personal favorite, the new Fit to Flaunt powder coated poles. Uh, for one, can I just say, this purple gives me life. So now let's talk about the difference between the the silicone and the chrome. So with the powder coated pole, it's like you get the best of both worlds because you have the grip of the chrome pole, which allows you to dance effortlessly and flow effortlessly on your pole. But you also have the vibrant pop of color that you like on the pink silicone pole. So that's why it's my favorite. It's like a hybrid of the both of them. So let's see what it looks like if I wanted to do a fireman spin on the powder coated pole. So very similar to the chrome, as you can see, I am able to spin. I'm able to do my power spins. I'm able to do everything on the powder coated pole. So again, the powder coated and the chrome pole are almost identical, except the powder coated gives you a pop of color. So if you're someone like me who likes to be very vibrant and colorful, you're going to fall in love with this limited edition purple powder coated pole. All right, flaunters, and here we have our legacy chrome pole. A pole dancer could never go wrong with the chrome pole. So what's different about the chrome pole versus the powder coated or the silicone pole? Well, the chrome pole is the staple for pole dancing. Competitions all around the world use this finish. So if you're planning on ever competing professionally or maybe becoming an instructor, I strongly recommend training on the chrome pole. So unlike for the silicone pole, 
When you're dancing on a chrome or powder coated pole, you do need to wear shorts because you need as much of your skin exposed as possible because that's what's gonna help you stick on the pole. So if I wanted to do, let's say a leg hang on the chrome pole, I was able to do it with the silicone pole, but you'll see with the chrome pole, I have no grip and I'm not able to hold on. So the chrome pole is perfect for those of you who are just getting into pole dancing. Maybe you don't know which finish you want to get. Again, you cannot go wrong with the chrome pole. So we worked super hard on this new dance pole. My engineering team, my manufacturer, I mean, we went through iterations after iterations after iterations. It's two years in the making to bring this here to you. So I can't wait for you all to try it out and I'm so excited. Thank you so much for being part of this amazing community. And as always, if you need to reach me or any members of the team, shoot us an email, DM us on Instagram or Facebook. We are at your disposal.